All right, guys, my name is Jamie, and you probably know me from the Facebook groups for Amazon influencers. I've created this extension called IPX. It's the Influencer Profits extension. I created it to make myself more money, and I've decided to give it to you for away for free so you can make more money. Now, I'm going to have this whole video broken into chapters. You can go below the video. There'll be tons of chapters to show you how to maximize your profits. I'm going to show you all the details and settings on how to use this extension for the Chrome browser on your desktop. So this is chapter one. Let's get started. All right, guys, chapter one, let me show you how to install it and pin it, and then I'll give you a brief overview. The first thing you wanna do on your desktop computer is open up Chrome browser, go to the Chrome web store. I'll put a link below this video, or if you wanna uh, type in a domain, I made it really simple. Just type in influencerextension.com, influencerextension.com. Go ahead and put that in your browser bar and that will automatically redirect you to the actual extension. Now, once you're there, you're going to want to add to Chrome. So click the add to Chrome. It's going to ask for permissions. We do need access to amazon.com. Anyways, super simple permissions. We don't do anything nefarious. You're going to need to add it anyways. So click add extension. Once it's installed, you're going to see that it pops up in the top right here. Now you'll notice that it isn't, uh, displayed. So what you're going to want to do is click this puzzle piece here, click that, and you're going to want to pin it. So go ahead and click the pin. And that means it'll always show in the browser in the top right hand corner. You're going to want to use IPX every day because it will allow you to quickly get to your statistics. So when you actually open the extension, it brings up this menu. Now you can always get to the menu by clicking these three lines. And by clicking those three lines, it brings up this menu. So you can go to your stats page because you're going to want to check your stats every day. You're going to want to go to your creator hub to see which of your videos have been published, how many views you're getting, what the clicks are, how it's ranking, etc. And then, of course, you're going to want to be able to go to your storefront very quickly so you can create idea lists or whatever. And then, of course, we have training. We have the university. We have quick links to the Facebook groups. So there's the Influencer Profits uh, Facebook group that you're probably already a, a, a member of. We have the TikTok group. So if you're interested in TikTok, you're going to want to go to that Facebook group. And of course, you're going to want to join the newsletter. So all of these links are built into IPix to help you navigate Amazon very quickly. So that's chapter one. Chapter two, let's get into it. All right. So let me show you chapter two, which is what does IPix do for you on an Amazon product? OK, so take a look. Here we are on Amazon and here's just a menu. So we can go to any product. And IPix is actually going to put a table above that product. So let's let it load. You're going to see here that it builds this table at the very top. So basically what IPix is doing is it's taking existing information about that product, putting it in the table and putting it at the top. So that way you can do a quick uh, evaluation of the product to decide if you want to review it. You can also find out if you have a video on that page. So from this table, starting from the left, we can see our commission. So that's how much commission we're going to make, whether we sell it through on-site or off-site. Um, we have the general information. So the ASIN, now that's important because if you're going to upload your videos to Creator Hub through your desktop, you can actually click that and it's going to copy that ASIN. So you'll be able to tag the uh, product in the video. So we've added that. There is a related products link and I'll show that to you a little bit later. But if you click that, it's going to build a table for you and go ahead and exper <clears throat> experiment with that because that's going to show you all the products related and it's going to tell you how many videos are in the carousel. So you can use that for product research. Now we have a manage affiliate link. If you click that, we can actually create an affiliate link for offsite sales. So this is particularly good if you're running a YouTube channel. So you can put this link in your description or the first comment on a YouTube video and you're going to get affiliate commissions. And you can create that affiliate link directly from IPX. And then on um, the top carousel video, we notice that there are six videos in the top carousel. And there's one merchant video. And then there's five influencers who are already there. So you're going to want to look at this top carousel table or column. And that's gonna you're going to use that for product research. And then if the product has a bottom carousel, we tell you that there's a total of five videos already there. There's zero merchant videos and there are five influencer videos. So that tells you that that carousel is full, but you have, uh, you're going to use that to do research 
So typically, like if you if you found something that said there's only one influencer video or two influencer videos, this might be a product that you want to uh, buy or review. And then here is the your video for both columns. So we try to detect if your video is in that carousel. These will turn green if your video is there. Now on the far right, we show you the categories that this product is in. So we moved it to the top. Now. We also do something different is we take the last 10 reviews that were um, placed on this product. So that way you can just get a sense if this is a quality product. So I call it review velocity. So these are the last 10 reviews. So the first one was only two stars and there's a five star, a one star. So you can go ahead and just uh, scroll that up and down to get a sense of the quality of the product and you can decide whether or not you want to review. So this table is completely been added by IPX. So that's chapter two. Let's move to chapter three and I'll show you how to use search. All right guys, so chapter three, let's go over how you can use IPX with search. So this is gonna be a great way for you to find opportunities and to find products that don't have a lot of competition in the video carousels. So let's just do a simple search. We'll, do, we'll search for Tumblr and it's gonna bring up a search page and you're gonna notice that above every product, IPX is building a table. It's gonna give you information about each product so you don't actually have to go to the product page. You can just navigate through this search page here. So above each product, you can see we have these tables and we can see if your video is on that product page. So notice they're all red, so I don't have any videos on these products. But you can also see that we show you the total videos. So this, this particular Tumblr has six videos and there are five influencers. So this is a product you may not wanna review. You're gonna to wanna to look for uh, influencers between one and four would be a good number to look for. So if you find a product with one through four, we can just scroll through here and see if we can find anything. So here's one right here, influencer video one. So this would be a good product. It could be a good find. Now, uh, we can see here that 2,000 of them were purchased in the last month, so there's a ton of volume. And so this is a quick way for you to do uh, research on the search pages now. And there's two other cool features that you're gonna wanna know about. Now, if you like this product, you can actually add it to your favorites by clicking the star. Now that I've clicked the star, we've saved that to IPX for you so you can build your own list of products. So if you wanna do product research, you can save all these products and I'll show you what that list looks like. You go up to IPX, and this link right here is gonna bring up the table. So you can see here that I have added this Tumblr to this table. So you're gonna be able to sort this, and we'll actually get into more uh, technical details on this table, but you can pretty much figure it out. So every time you add something to your favorites, it'll go to this table. To get to it, you're just gonna click that link right there. But let's go back to the product page here, and then Another feature is this related products button, okay? Every one of these products has that button. So if we find a product and we wanna see what are the related products, so we wanna do uh, more product research, just go ahead and click the related products button. It's gonna build this table for you and you can actually um, give it some time because it's doing a lot of thing in the, a lot of work in the backside. And you can see here that it tells you, it shows you the image, it shows you the ASIN, and that ASIN is clickable, so that'll go to the product page. It tells you the price, the rating, how many reviews, how many are selling on Amazon, and then we tell you how many videos are in the top carousel. So you just gotta give it a little bit of time to work, but let's just take a look at this one here. This one has two total videos, one merchant video and one influencer video. And you can hover your mouse over these columns and that'll tell you exactly. That's called a tooltip, and it'll tell you what these stand for. But this particular product right here has two total videos, one merchant video and one influencer video. So that might be a good product. What I would do is I would just add that to my favorites by clicking the star. And then if you go to your the favorites page, you can see that we've added it here. So here's the 211, 211. So we've added that for research later. So that's a great thing is the related products button. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. So this is a great way for you to do product research from the search page. So that is the newest and latest feature we've added actually just before I uh, created this video. 
So let's move on to chapter four. All right, guys, so this is chapter four. Let's go over Creator Hub and how iPix can help you make more money. Now, the main thing is you're gonna wanna know if your videos are placed in the video carousels for a product. And that's what iPix does for you. So you can see here, here's an example of a Creator Hub page. And the first thing you're gonna notice at the top is a table. So this tells you how many people are following your storefront. Uh, it tells you how many hearts you've been given across your videos and then the total amount of views on those videos. But let's take a look here um, at the column here. It's called placement by IPX. Now we've added that. So this particular product, it's saying that my video is in the lower carousel. Now, if you wanna verify that, you, you can click that. Notice the little icon, you click that, that will open up the product page for you so you can manually verify. We do our best to detect it Amazon is kind of finicky with that, so sometimes the accuracy may not be 100%, but we're pretty dang close because we're limited by Amazon. Now, the next thing you're gonna see that we've added is this eye icon. Now, if you wanna know how many of this unit is selling, go ahead and click that. Uh, we're asking for feedback, so if you can give us feedback on the Chrome uh, dashboard, that'd be awesome. Now, when you click close, it does unlock that number for you, and you can see that this particular product, uh, they're uh, selling at 50 units per month. This one is 50 units per month. This one is selling 100 units per month. Now that information is directly from Amazon. So you can look at all of your products in the Creator Hub and you can see which of those products. So some will be 1,000, 4,000, 10,000. So you're gonna see which products are really moving and very um, popular. So we've added that column to help you go through your Creator Hub and see what pop what products are popular. And then if you wanna sort the list, this table here we've added, now you can click any one of these and it'll sort that list for you. So if you just wanna see all of the videos that uh, are in the lower carousel, you would click that. Or if you wanna see all the videos in the upper carousel, you would click that. And then of course, if your video is in the upper and lower video carousel, you would click that and then you can actually sort the list and do more research to see how well you're performing in the product pages. So that's very helpful with the Creator Hub feature of IPX. All right, guys, so chapter five, let's just go over the settings real quick. When you open up IPX, uh, if you don't see this menu, you can click the three lines at the very top in that navigation. Go ahead and click the button to go to settings or click the gear icon in the top menu. If you click that, it's going to open up. Um, these are all of the features of IPX. Each feature can be turned on or off. It's up to you because these features can be kind of computer intense. So if you feel like your browser is slow, you can turn off features to speed up the browser. Now, each one of these is a button. So you just click it and then you're going to click save. So super easy. If you need more information on what these do, you can feel free to post to the Facebook group, the Amazon influencer group that we have. And to get there, click the three buttons, and then you'd go to Fluencer Profits. That's the Facebook group that you're probably already a member of, but that's the settings. So for now, that concludes this tutorial. I hope it helps you. And uh, we will be releasing more features and I will have an overview video of the pro features this is for people who are treating this like a business. We do have pro features built into IPX to help you even make more money, but that would be more for people who are serious about this business. So we'll see you in the next video.